Okay, I'm going to go with this. I believe that the role of Albert Einstein was played by Larry Fine. Now, on the left, you'll see a photo of Einstein, and it's been inserted into this uh, pick trive, which is a, a particular type of software that will make comparisons between the photos and the features. And so I tried to find two that really had some pretty strong similarity. So on the left is Albert Einstein, and on the right is Larry Fine. Larry Fine is one of the classic Three Stooges. So I'm going to be bouncing around. I have a lot of things open on my computer, and I'm not very good with the technology. I'm not very good at making these videos but my main purpose is to just get truth out there and it can be subjected to your analysis in other words the similarity meter is showing 86 percent similar which for me that's really outstanding okay um, now somebody might say well I want to see it 90 or 100 well some of the reason that won't occur is that, that sometimes the photos are taken at different times of a person's life and sometimes the photos are just uh, not quite of high quality or whatever but on this particular submission of two different photos of quote two different individuals it's showing an 80 per six, 86 percent match between Albert Einstein on the left and Larry Fine on the right. Now there are other reasons that I believe that Larry Fine plays the role of Albert Einstein in hoax history. And I'm going to cite those reasons for you um, and I'm going to try to jump around to some other sites later, but I want to get all this information out first. First would be their heritage. Einstein and Feinberg. Now, the last part of his name has been dropped, so you look at their heritage. Secondly, both of them have the love of playing a violin. The story goes in Larry Fine's life that when he was young, he mistook a bottle of acid that was used by his father in his uh, processing lab to try to uncover gold, and that he began to drink the acid, and his father discovered it and smacked it out of his hand, and it burned up, burned a portion of his of his arm, and so the parents decided that they would. Um, uh, give him a, a violin to strengthen those muscles. Now that's the storyline, okay? Now Albert Einstein also developed a love of playing violin in his early youth. So both the one on the left and the one on the right share the love of violin. And it's kind of the uh, cultural thing that emerges from both of them. The second thing is, later on, the hairdo of Einstein will be so insane, it almost looks like he put his hand in an electric socket and, it, and his hair got electrified. Now Larry, in his role in The Three Stooges, always had that type of a hairstyle where it's kind of fluffed up and electrified. So both of them later will share an electrified hairdo. Now another uh, thing that I'd like to mention why I think they are the same is that both have sort of a, and I'll use the term bipolar type role. Uh, Larry in his role in the Three Stooges 
will seem pretty sensible and seem pretty reasonable, like he's he's the most reasonable of the Stooges. But then every once in a while he'll do he'll do something like really insane, like in the in the short disorder in the court, Larry will just start yelling and screaming like Tarzan in the middle of the courtroom. It has nothing to do with anything. And Einstein later in life will stick out his tongue. There's photographs of him uh, putting a, an equation on the board that 6 minus 3 is 9 or something. I don't know. What, uh, it, you can look them up. In other words, you get this impression Einstein is so brilliant and then you'll see these wacko uh, insane things that you'll say how could the most brilliant man on earth do this so they share that in common now another really important thing is the crucial years of filming never mind the hoax history uh, the fake existence of Einstein in Germany the most crucial years are like from 1939 uh, through the war years and after the war. Because remember, Einstein will remain in, in the hoax history kind of a hidden figure. And then he, he emerges uh, after the war because, because he came to the United States supposedly in 1939. He becomes a U.S. citizen in 1940. He's teaching at Princeton, and he is visited by two so-called scientists from Germany, and they have a little conference together, and they try to persuade Einstein to use his influence on America, and eventually out of this little joint meeting comes a letter to FDR, and then a little little meeting with FDR, and then the start of, guess what? The Manhattan Project to develop the nuclear bomb. So in a way, Einstein, for the purpose of hoax history, is irrelevant until about 1939. Now, take Larry Fine about 1939. The Stooges have already done a lot of filming and they still have a lot of life left in them to film. So Larry Fine will take on this role very easily because he's already really good at the camera and, um, and he, can, he can fulfill this by secretly filming these sorts of things and then after the war, after 1945, all this nonsense comes out, okay? So it's been kind of hidden during the war years but the most important years for public viewing is after the war, okay? So Einstein, as a hoax history character, disappears in 1955. And that's okay. You, you need to kill off a character, right? So that they're not around too long. And then, of course, Larry Fine is still quite active with the Three Stooges in 1955. So one other, uh, one other thing is there have been some clues in the Three Stooges shorts that have indicated to me that uh, Larry Fine is indeed in the role of Einstein during these crucial years of World War II and following. So the hoax really doesn't develop into anything at all until after the war because the United States and the whole world is going to be so surprised by this atomic bomb dropped on Hiroshima and then Nagasaki later. So how did this all come about? Well then, quote, the story unravels after World War II ends. So the filming years would have been pretty much the war years and Larry Fine could have easily filmed a lot of this nonsense stuff during the war years to present after the war that Einstein was behind all this with his stupid equation E equals MC square. Now pardon me I'm gonna try to I've got so many things open I'm a little confused on what I've got up here so I'm gonna try to open some things and see if um, see if I can uh, get get you uh, there's uh, Larry 
fine with the with the uh, violin and then remember of course uh, Einstein is real real good on the violin and by the way just by by looking at his face right here just by looking okay and if you look at some early photos of Einstein you can almost just with your own eyesight see the similarities okay there's Einstein and all his nonsense now here's a site that allows you to take the photos and blend them but the problem with that is um, you have to have them pretty well lined up in order to do this so you could just sort of see for yourself okay they're not perfectly lined up and there's a little bit of age differential uh, in terms of Larry Fine on the left and Einstein on the right but I'm gonna do it anyhow now once again anything I present you're welcome to disagree with I had someone put on my channel I disagree with you about the chimpanzees and I thought well that's okay you can uh, but back to what what someone always says well test it for yourself in other words if you disagree why don't you go ahead and research it and see maybe you'll be surprised and you'll find out that chimpanzees orangutans gorillas and apes are all fake the only thing that's really real are just the tiny little itty bitty monkeys and that was developed uh, to get you to believe the nonsense of evolution okay So there's Einstein and here's Larry Fine. Okay? You can see that right there, even though this is off just slightly, you can just see the eyebrows and the eyes match really well. And again, there's a little bit of an age differential there. This is a young, supposedly a young Einstein and a little bit of, a, of an older uh, Larry Fine. Okay? So pardon me while I kind of click on these things. I'm not real good at all this. You'll have to kind of pardon me on that one. Uh, now here's another one. There's an Einstein on the right, and then we're going to take Larry Fine on the left. And once again, they're not matched up really well, and there is age differential. Just to sort of show you and I referred to it in some of my earlier videos, what I call the split persona. That they can actually play two roles. Larry can be a, a successful comedian with the Stooges and yet secretly be playing the role of Albert Einstein in filming. Because a lot of the filming would have been done in secret during the war years. And there's just a whole bunch of photos of Larry once again this one over here on the far right with Larry and the violin okay here's another one these are not lined up but once again it's got that insane look to it Okay, there's Larry. He looks pretty pretty reasonable and everything, but every once in a while in the Three Stooges shorts, he'll go bonkers. Just completely ballistic, with no relation to anything at all. And then, of course, there are the wacky photos of Einstein sticking his tongue out. I guess the best way I can describe it is kind of like a bipolar thing, like two extremes coming together. The most brilliant man in the world, right? And he sticks his tongue out. And it's a form of mockery saying, I'm, I'm fake, I'm fake, I'm fake. And I'm just like, guess what? I'm just like one of the three stooges. <laughs> So there you see the, 
The concept is illustrated to you with this with this style here of uh, Okay, there you are once again. I think I subjected the, uh, the, the photo meter. The, again, this comes from PIC, T-R-I-E-V, and you'll see it's coming up with an 86% match between Larry Fine here on the left and Albert Einstein on the right. Now that was done, that was an earlier one and the pictures are not quite as as uh, as as close, but that's got a 55% match. Now here's all the Einstein things. Again, look at the hairdo on 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 some of these ones, like right down here. Look at the hairdo, the hairdo. You get the idea, he's so brilliant, right? And then there's these wacko hairdos and the sticking the tongue out, right? And then of course his famous E equals MC square. It's nonsense and it's all coded. And I can go into that in another video for you. No problem on that one. That's real easy to decode. Okay, here you are. This is kind of a character showing that he's the most brilliant man in the world. And look at his hair, right? And look at the nonsense equations. Almost as if begging and saying, now this photo right here really looks like Larry Fine in younger years. Okay, almost by eyesight, you can see that one. Okay, here's another attempt I made to use this similarity meter. And it's Einstein on the left and Larry Fine on the right, getting a 62% similarity. All right? So once again, you're welcome to test it for yourself. You're welcome to doubt this. You're welcome to disagree. Hey, my purpose here on my channel is not to win followers. It's not necessarily to get more subs or more views. The reason I started this was to get truth out there. And when I made my first video, I had like five views. That's it, period. And I was excited to go and check it. Oh, I went up to six views. So I just wanted to make a little tiny contribution out there. And I started with that 80-year war cycle video. And I'll tell you what. What I said back then is true to this day. It's just that the war you're seeing is not necessarily one with bombs and bullets. So um, anyhow, my purpose is just to get truth out there. And remember, I stand for the one who is the way, the truth, and the life. That is the Lord Jesus Christ. And truth will bring down lies. And truth will take out a hoax lie system. So I hope more and more people begin to discover the idea that we've been lied to and we've been lied to on like the most grandest scale you can ever imagine. In fact, the scale is so big that when you begin to try to speak about it, people will immediately categorize you as crazy. Well, as crazy as it may sound, <laughs> I'm presenting to you that yes, Larry Fine played Einstein, and it actually has a little poetic uh, saying to it, Larry Fine played Einstein. Thank you for watching. End of video.